Hello, everyone. Today, I'd like to um, uh, represent the VCAPS team to present the result of uh, one study named Behaviors and Attitudes Towards Smoking Among Healthcare Workers at Health Facilities in Four Provinces of Vietnam. So we all know that smoking tobacco remains a leading cause of premature death worldwide and a well-known risk factor for adverse health outcomes. And um, with nearly 43%, according to the newest data of male smoking in Vietnam, which then ranks among the highest in Southeast Asia. But at the same time, the good news is that we have a lot of opportunities for smoking cessation in Vietnam. So this study we use, um, it's just a cross-sectional survey. We have 56 public health facilities from national level to common health, uh, common health stations in Hanoi, Gamal, Ho Chi Minh City, and Thanh Hoa. The survey included all employees of hospitals, including doctors, nurse, technician, staff, students, admin staff, and trainees. We have asked the approval from the leaders of hospitals and health facilities. And then we send letter of invitation to all healthcare workers selected into our study. So for all the health, health facilities have, having under 200 people, we collect them all. And for health facilities who have more than 200, we will have do a simple sampling methods to select uh, some groups to include it into our survey. The survey was using paper forms and then enter into online database. And we have asked them about their characteristics, smoking history, attitudes towards smoking restriction. Uh, and we also use Fragile Strong for smokers. So according to the survey uh, data, we see that the result, um, we have 67% of them are female and the rest are now, we have most of them are from 18 to 50, the people in the working age. So, but we have quite a um, equal proportion of people from all provinces. According to the result, we can see that the majority of smokers were male, which is not surprising. Uh, and majority of non-smoking healthcare workers were females. The highest smoking prevalence was among doctors, followed by technician and admin staff. And only 12% current smokers demonstrate high or very high dependence, according to Fagerstrom's form. In this table, we show the factors associated with smoking in healthcare workers. And it's not a surprise that males has greater odds so that people working in an urban setting had lower odds of identifying as smokers compared to people in rural areas. We also see a very good chance that people who have higher age uh, smoke more than um, people in younger age. Among um, 250 current smokers, we see some patterns. Only half of them reported smoking daily and 75% reported smoking fewer than 10 cigarettes a day. It's the same with the Fagerstrom uh, result that most of them are not very dependent on smoking. Mm -hmm. And the very good news is that 72% have attempted to stop smoking within the past two months. Other behaviors related to smoking in hospital, we see that the mass, uh, vast majority of smokers and non-smokers agree that smoking is dangerous to one's health, including their own health and other colleagues in the hospital. Most healthcare workers recognize that their smoking behavior influences others. A high proportion believe that quit smoking program should be offered free to employees. A hospital should be a smoke-free environment. <laughs> And 96% reported awareness that their facility had a smoke-free hospital policy. As we see that we have run this program for a long time. So we see that there are many opportunities for this program. We see that people believe that the hospital should be smoke-free and they support the program. They also support that doctors should brutally advise patients about how to stop smoking and 95% indicated that nurse 
can also provide the same activity for patients. However, at the same time, we see that 82% healthcare workers indicated that a lack of time was a barrier to their providing smoking cessation advice. I want to mention some indication here. The first is smoking prevalence among male healthcare workers remains high despite a decade of policy reform and smoke-free policy policy, uh, smoke-free hospital policy, so people can still more smoke and they smoke in the hospital. And this smoking behavior is likely to reduce their motivation to offer smoking cessation intervention to their patients. While many healthcare workers in our study perceive that they lack the skill to perform counseling for patients. And at the same time, we would like to emphasize that we should not exclude female healthcare workers because we have seen a rise of uh, female smoking in Vietnam. In this um, slide, I would like to mention again the opportunities for the law enforcement. We have seen that we have the hospital-free uh, of smoking, but people can still smoke in the hospital, not only the patients, but also the health, healthcare workers. So, however, they also see that it's not good. 78% um, felt smoking ban improved their job performance, and most of them uh, support the, um, the policy. However, we do not have of strict policies and strict activities to strengthen this policy in the hospital. So what I want to emphasize here is this data provide healthcare leaders with the evidence that they need to advocate strongly for smoking bans and other restrictions on tobacco in Vietnamese hospitals. The second one is smoking cessation needs to be aimed in the healthcare system through a comprehensive and systematic approach that is action-oriented. I want to mention two, uh, some limitations and strengths of this study before I conclude. The first one is that for the limitation, we rely on healthcare workers self-report to assess smoking status. Given the potential for social desirability bias among healthcare workers who realize the harmful effects of smoking, misclassification of smoking status cannot be excluded. And at the same time, we see that many hospitals are very strict in the policy. Therefore, people may not provide the actual uh, information about their smoking cessation and also uh, the behaviors related to smoking cessation advice. However, at the same time, we have a strength that a large number of health facilities have been in this survey. We have an evaluation of all four levels of the Vietnamese healthcare system through four provinces in the northern and southern region. And we also have a very high participation rate, this nearly 94% among eligible healthcare workers. So it has reduced the likelihood of selection bias. So to conclude, um, uh, there are four conclusions. The first one, healthcare workers should be an integral part of tobacco smoking screening and smoking cessation advocacy. The second one, capacity building intervention to augment the counseling skill of healthcare workers and provide access to evidence-based method of smoking cessation. Promise to reduce smoking rate among patients presenting, presenting to healthcare facilities. The third one is a system-wide approach is critical if smoking rates are to reduce among patients and healthcare workers. And further action to scale up effective tobacco control practice within healthcare facilities in Vietnam urgently needed. I just want to add one more uh, thing. What we want, I want to add is smoking is less common among healthcare workers than the general population, which is a very great um, indicator However, a subset, substantial proportion of men doctors continue to smoke in Vietnam, actually in working hours in the hospitals. Support for smoking cessation policy is strong among healthcare workers in Vietnam, even those who smoke. This indicates support for more ambitious efforts to combat smoking within Vietnamese health and facilities. And this, I would like to congratulate um, the Vietnam, Vietnamese Ministry of Health and many um, agencies like Vinacos that has supported uh, the program uh, in Vietnam. However, we 
have a lot of opportunities that we need to do further to really have a good environment um, for patients. And we should provide more support for patients to quit smoking and contribute to the smoking cessation program in Vietnam. Thank you.